Now, a renowned Korean American economic forecaster is in town today to offer his insight onto the U.S. election results and what that would mean for global economies around the world, including Korea. What is his forecast on the future relationship between Korea and the United States? Our Lee Yun-shin met with Sun Sung-won. The world watched closely how the U.S. elected its next head of state as the new president-elect is set to have a prominent influence in the economies of many countries. And that includes Korea. So, to find out more on what Donald Trump's victory means to Korean businesses and its economy in general, I sat down with Dr. Sun Sung-won from California State University. Topping the list of questions I had for him was one of the biggest concerns among Korean businesses, Trump's plans on increasing tariffs and protective trade. The reality is reality that is, uh, I think uh, there will be uh, more tariffs, and then the question is by how much. And that means, uh, uh, you know, for example, Korea needs to do a good job of convincing not only the Trump administration, but the general public in America why that's bad. And so uh, I would recommend that uh, Korea, you know, launch a very healthy, strong uh, communications program, not only with the administration, but also with the U.S. media explaining why that's not good, and that's especially for the people who are at the lower end of the income spectrum. But conversely, a Trump administration could open other doors for growth, as he said he would spend up to 500 billion U.S. dollars to enlarge the infrastructure sector. Uh, Korea would benefit because Korea has a lot of technology and uh, equipment that uh, we can sell to the United States to support the infrastructure programs. Uh, but again, if uh, Korea or China were to try to sell equipment, uh, say, you know, computers, for example, equipment, uh, then would that be subject to, uh, you know, tariffs by how much? And then so it is not a clear uh, cut uh, positive for uh, Korea, but uh, it can be a, a positive because uh, that's where a lot of money is going to be spent. Dr. Son also shared his insight regarding Election Day, how it paved the way for the Republican Party to not only win the White House, but also control the Senate and the House of Representatives. And according to him, because there's a wide gap between what Trump wants to do and what traditional Republicans want to do, the upcoming leadership in the U.S. will create a divided government in the ideological sense. But he also adds that historically, such division has been good for financial markets around the world, including Korea, because a unified U.S. government tended to pass more bills and regulations and spend or sometimes even waste national budget. So perhaps there is room for Seoul to enhance bilateral ties and enlarge markets with Washington, as long as the communication is mutual and comprehensive, as Dr. Son emphasized. Yin Shin, Arirang News.